Welcome back. We reminded you of this earlier this morning that as of today, we are exactly five months away from Christmas. This is so exciting and this weekend may make the perfect time to maybe get that jump start on the holiday shopping for all you last minute people. Mm -hmm. You can do better this year. So the Christmas in July market is happening Saturday and Sunday there at the Benton Convention Center. And here to share more with us is Montana Noel. She's the owner of Sunny Day Markets, the organizers behind this weekend's event. Montana, I love that you are dressed in the spirit this morning. Thank you for being with be us. <laughs> so first, let's hear what is Sunny Day Markets that you own? So Sunny Day Markets started off as a pop-up shop right outside of our boutique during the pandemic to offer an outside um, curated market for small businesses and crafters to come out to make some extra money. Um, and now it has turned into a traveling small business market. So we're located out of Indian Trail and we go all over. So we're going to Concord, Fletcher, we'll be in Winston this weekend, but it's just a mixture of crafters, small businesses, advertisement, um, and just a fun time. So is this Supporting pretty much, small. yeah, this is pretty much an overview of the entire experience. Is there anything else that folks will be able to look forward to? Um, for the actual event? Mm -hmm. For Christmas in July, yes. Yeah, so specifically for that one, we will have a photo booth, permanent jewelry. There will be fudge, pound cakes, all kinds of fun, like Christmas theme. So we actually have the Boba Tea Bar coming out with us, and they've curated um, three different specialty drinks for us, eggnog, s'mores, and candy cane. Um, so when you enter, we hope that it feels like you're in Christmas spirit, Christmas um music, the backdrops, the pipe and drape. Hopefully everybody dresses in Christmas. Um, there will be boutiques. We have um, pottery, quilts. It's probably the best event overall um, variety wise of the vendors we probably ever have. Really? Yeah. Tell us how it's evolved over the year and kind of really what inspired you guys to start an event like this. Um, so this will be the second annual of us doing Christmas in July. This will be the first time at the Benton Convention, okay. but we wanted to do indoors um, and we didn't really want to do a summer theme, but we mixed it with Christmas. What better way to what better way or reason to shop would be Christmas for your loved ones and mix it with summer. So that's how we got Christmas in July. <laughs> This is awesome. So aside from some new items, what is the overall message that you hope people take away from an event like this? Maybe just, I know Christmas spirit and when you think about like the joy and the love mm -hmm. that you feel around the holidays, maybe this will kind of permeate into these yes. summer months now. Um, I guess the overall message that I would like to keep pushing throughout is to always support small. Um, I know that during the pandemic, people really skyrocketed and ran to small businesses. But now that we're back to the convenience of Amazon, the grocery store, small businesses now, it seems to me as a small business owner, we own a couple other businesses. Um, that people are forgetting about the small business owners and going back to the convenience. So for this would just be a reminder to always support small, always support your local town and community because those are the ones who pay the taxes and do the give backs in everything in a community. So always think small. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And Montana, we know that the Christmas in July market is this Saturday and Sunday inside the Benton Convention Center. So is there anything else that people need to do ahead of time? Is this just kind of a walk in kind of come as you go? What are the times and ticket details? So it's 100% free admission. Okay. Um, you will have to do public parking. There's multiple different um, parking lots around there. They base from $2 to $5. So that's gonna be on each parking lot. Free admission, it's July 29th and 30th, which is Saturday and Sunday. The times are 10 to four on Saturday and 10 to three on Sunday. Um, indoors so <laughs> you're we not can, gonna sweat yeah we can off. be in air conditioning <laughs> do you have a count of vendors that will be there or are you still looking for people so we have 89 vendors oh, we wow. would be able to fit 11 more um right. we're not looking to double up on anything so if there are any other vendors out there that would like to join in um, please reach out to sunny day markets um, as far as where you can find the event, you can find it on our website, which is sunnydaymarkets.com, or you can head to our Facebook and we've got a Facebook event as well.
That's fantastic. 89, that's a full mm -hmm. shopping day experience. 89 <laughs> vendors. Get out there early at 10 a.m. <laughs> yes, 10 a.m. Montana, thanks so much, and good luck, too, for a successful event. Here is that information once again for everyone at home this Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 4, and then again 10 to 3 in downtown Winston-Salem. All right.